Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you monostable multivibrator using triple five timer IC in complete details. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. See, first of all, I'll be explaining you basics of monostable multivibrator. After that, I'll explain you circuit diagram of monostable multivibrator using triple five timer IC. And based on circuit, I'll explain you working and waveforms. Based on waveforms, I'll be deriving essential equations like what is the duration of T on over here for charging of this capacitor. And at last, I'll be discussing about applications of monostable multivibrator using triple five timer IC. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of monostable multivibrator. Monostable multivibrator is having one stable state and one quasi stable state. So first of all, you need to understand what is the meaning of stable state and what is the meaning of quasi stable state. See, stable state means that state doesn't change. And to change that state, we need to give external trigger. While quasi stable state changes based on circuit automatically. Let me explain you how. See, here we have monostable multivibrator with which we give trigger to change stable state and quasi stable state that changes automatically at output. See here active low state that is stable state. So to change this state from low to high, we give trigger over here. So by trigger, we can change this stable state from low to high and this higher state of output that is quasi stable state. So after some duration, it will be changing automatically from high to low over here, right? So in monostable multivibrator, there are two states. One is stable state and second is quasi stable state. To change the stable state, we need to give trigger over here and quasi stable state changes automatically. Let us try to understand that by triple five timer IC. To understand circuit of monostable multivibrator using triple five timer IC, first of all, you should know internal structure of triple five timer IC. For that, I have made a separate video in which each and every pin along with its internal structure is explained very clearly. You just go through it. Here, I'll explain you circuit diagram of monostable multivibrator using triple five timer IC. So here to understand circuit, here if you observe this pin eight, that is connected with VCC, pin 8 is supply pin, pin 1 that is connected with ground, that is ground pin over here. If you observe pin 4 that is also connected with VCC, pin 4 is reset pin. Reset pin is active low pin, means it is reset bar pin. If you apply ground over here, then entire IC is getting reset. So for a proper functioning of triple five timer IC, this pin 4 that should be connected with VCC over here. If you observe pin 5 that is connected with capacitor and it is grounded over here. Pin 5 is control voltage pin. At this terminal inside IC we have constant voltage that is 2 by 3 VCC. To maintain constant voltage over here at pin 5 we are connecting capacitor over here. Even if you don't connect this capacitor output will come over here. But to avoid issues of noise we are connecting pin 5 with capacitor over here and this capacitor value should be 0.01 microfarad and pin 3 that is output pin that is this right see this much portion of circuit that is common in a stable monostable and bi stable here working of monostable that is there with this three pins only right the reason is this much portion of circuit that is common for all the circuits of triple five if you observe here, VCC is connected with RA and this RA that is connected with capacitor here and at capacitor we are having VC voltage over here and that VC voltage that is given to pin 7 and pin 6. Pin 6 that is threshold voltage pin which is connected with upper comparator and pin 7 that is discharge pin. Here this pin number 2 that is given with trigger 
in monos table we are having two states one state is stable state to change the stable state we need to give trigger and second state is quasi stable state that changes based on capacitor voltage so let us try to understand that in working over here working of monostable multi vibrator is quite simple there are two states one is stable state and second is quasi stable state with this circuit stable state is active low and quasi stable state is active high see usually this triple five timer ic that stays in stable state means output will be low over here as if output is low means if output is zero at that time see this output that is coming from this flip flop which is having q bar output over here right so if q bar is zero q will be one as if q is one then this transistor will be on as if this transistor is on then this capacitor that is getting discharged immediately inside this transistor so there is no time delay you can say time delay is there in terms of microsecond and nanoseconds right so in nanoseconds this capacitor is getting discharged over here right means stable state at output is logic zero now let us try to understand working of it by giving trigger over here so by applying trigger output will be having transition let us try to understand that how there will be transition see if you give negative going pulse over here with trigger pin this trigger pin that is connected with lower comparator over here so here with lower comparator see positive terminal that is connected with 1 by 3 vcc so if you give voltage lower than 1 by 3 vcc at pin 2 by negative pulse here negative is lower than positive means output of this comparator will be active high and here see threshold pin that is having lower voltage over here as it is connected with capacitor so capacitor is connected over here where it is getting discharged means at this terminal voltage will be zero as if voltage is zero over here see negative is higher than positive over here with upper comparator means output will be zero over here right so with sr flip-flop reset is one set is zero means this flip-flop is getting reset means at q bar there will be active high and at q there will be active low now as if this is getting active low this transistor is getting off and as if this transistor is getting off and here output is active high over here if transistor is getting off then what will happen if transistor is getting off then this capacitor that will get start to charge via ra over here this capacitor that will get start to charge via ra over here the reason is now capacitor is not having discharging path over here right now this capacitor will charge up to what voltage it should get charged see this capacitor that can get charged up to 2 by 3 vcc after 2 by 3 vcc what will happen if this capacitor voltage that goes above 2 by 3 vcc then you see this capacitor voltage that is connected with pin 6 so pin 6 that is threshold pin over here so if this positive terminal that is going above 2 by 3 vcc then positive will be greater compared to negative if positive is greater compared to negative then output of this upper comparator that will be one over here and here now we are not giving pulse we have given pulse earlier right so here now there is active high signal which is this right means here output will be zero so here with this sr flip-flop set is one reset is zero means this flip-flop is getting set means q will be one and q bar will be zero so output will be now zero if this capacitor voltage goes above 2 by 3 vcc and as q is one now this transistor is getting on and capacitor is finding path to get discharge so as and when capacitor voltage goes above 2 by 3 vcc at that time this transistor is getting on and this transistor will be providing capacitor to get discharge over here via pin 7 
right so stable state will be as it is over here at output that will be active low to change stable state from low to high to change stable state from low to high here we need to give trigger right here we need to give trigger so this is trigger pulse right this is trigger pulse and see after some duration after some duration capacitor voltage that is getting charged up to 2 by 3 vcc and as it is getting charged up to 2 by 3 vcc output will go low right and it will get stable again so here from this instant to this instant capacitor is charging from 0 to 2 by 3 vcc voltage right let us see all those things in waveform where i'll be deriving equation of width of pulse from waveform i'll be going to derive width of pulse at output side but first you need to understand how waveform is appearing see as i have told you with a stable multi vibrator active low is stable state so active low is stable state right to change this stable state from low to high we are giving triggering pulse over here you can observe as and when we give pulse over here output will go active high and during this interval the capacitor voltage that is getting charged from 0 to 2 by 3 vcc once that capacitor voltage reaches to 2 by 3 VCC, here output will go low and capacitor is getting discharged immediately through the transistor, right? So here charging that is happening as per time constant, capacitance C into resistance RA, right? And here discharging that is happening via transistor only. So that discharging is very fast, right? As resistance value is very less. Here, we are deal with to identify width of this pulse during this T on of this V out. So, to have a derivation of this width of pulse, you need to understand capacitor voltage equation. Let me write that capacitor voltage equation along with initial and final condition first. So, one should know capacitor voltage is Vc and that Vc is equal to Vf plus Vi minus Vf into e to the power minus T by Rc. Now here, see during this charging of capacitor, we are a little bit to substitute values over here with this equation and we will be getting width of pulse that is T on. So here, as if I say T is equals to T on, at that time this small t that is T on where this resistance R that has to be RA as capacitor is getting charged via RA over here, right? So here we will be having R is equals to RA. Now let me explain you how to place values in this equation. See this VC that is capacitor voltage. Up to what voltage it is getting charged? It is getting charged up to 2 by 3 VCC. So VC that can appear up to 2 by 3 VCC. What is Vf? Vf is the voltage by which capacitor is getting charged. So capacitor is getting charged by the supply voltage Vcc, right? So here this Vf is final voltage by which capacitor is getting charged. So here I need to substitute Vf is equals to Vcc. Now Vi that is initial voltage. So initial voltage of Vc that is 0. So here I am placing 0 and Vf is Vcc, right? Here T is T on and R is R A, right? Now we need to simplify this equation. This VCC that will go on other side. So here we'll be having minus 1 by 3 VCC that is equals to minus VCC into E to the power minus T on divided by R A into C. Now this VCC is getting cancelled. This minus minus is getting plus. So 1 by 3 is equal to e to the power minus t on by ra into c. If you take natural log at both of the side, you will be getting 1.1 over here equals to t on divided by c into ra. So you can say width of pulse over here that is t on that is equal to 1.1 ra into c. 
so this is the basic equation of width of pulse in monostable multivibrator right now see this t1 is very essential the reason is it defines quasi stable state so this is what quasi stable state for this much duration only there will be width of pulse right and based on that there are so many applications see there can be so many applications like we can use this as a frequency divider frequency divider means we can divide given signals frequency divided by 2 like if you observe see here if you have v trigger that is having pulses happening like this right so in that case here signal frequency at output side that is getting divided over here the reason is if immediately two pulses are appearing during this t on then two pulses are not detected over here only one pulse is getting detected so at output side instead of two one pulse will appear means we are dividing frequency by two right see we can use this as a timer so if you define t on time period like in washing machine if t on time period that is there for 20 minutes right so after 20 minutes automatically washing machine is getting turned off so in which you will be observing we are using this monostable multivibrator only so on will be there for one hour only or 20 minutes only after that automatically washing machine that is getting turned off right see we can use it as a pulse width modulator so by defining width by defining triggering we can define that width of t on over here even right or by changing the value of this ra and c one can change the width of pulse even right so pulse width modulation that is also an application where either you place this c as a variable capacitor or you just place this ra as a variable resistor by which you can have pulse width modulation over here so that is how varieties of applications are available i hope you have understood this till if anything you would like to share Please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.